I'm a big X-Men fan too. See? Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all X-Men games for the Nintendo GameCube. X-Men Next Dimension is a decent fighting game. It offers 24 characters and somewhere around 11 battle arenas. It's nice to see that you get a story with cutscenes and the cutscenes are the stereotypical 2000s CGI graphics that now look very dated and soapy but were good for that time. As for game modes, you get the usual, survival mode, arcade mode, versus mode, practice mode, and you also get the story mode, which you can finish in around 1 hour. As for the fighting, it's decent, but you can spot collision problems where the characters don't connect, or the controls might feel stiff and too exaggerated, some characters jump too high, others are too slow, and their animations feel off. But overall, the game still is decent, it has shortcomings, and doesn't have the depth of the best GameCube fighting titles, but as I said, the game is decent. X2 Wolverine's Revenge is a beat'em up stealth game. I know, two genres that don't sound like they fit that well together. And in this game, they really don't fit, especially the stealth part isn't fitting to a character like Wolverine, in my opinion. The stealth part of the game is finicky, you have to stick to walls and stealth kill or, or you run like this and stealth kill. And there are sections in the game where if you screw up one stealth kill, you have to repeat the entire section. And the game is even worse because the other part of the game, the beat'em up part, is stiff and has some really bad camera angles. You can punch your way through enemies, claw them, kick them, you can unlock more moves, but it's weird that you can't block attacks or dodge attacks. Ok, you can, somehow, but there's no button to dodge or any button to block. You just do uh, some sort of evasive role. And it's pretty weird, it would have been really useful to have such a button, either to block or to dodge. But don't worry, you can beat the game even without a block button or a dodge button. I'm just saying that it would have been useful in the game to have such a button. Also the moveset is counterintuitive until you get it right. I mean it takes time to get used to the controls in the game. And even after you get used to the controls, in my opinion the game still feels stiff. And the gameplay gets even more annoying. Wolverine has the famous healing factor which makes him almost immortal in a fight. And the developers, instead of letting you feel like a superhero, they introduced levels where the healing factor is turned off. Also, in the levels that in which you have the healing factor, you can heal only if you retract your claws. The level designs are horrible, also the checkpoint system is atrocious. If you die, no matter where in a level, you get restarted at the beginning of that level. And considering how broken and sluggish the whole game is, a checkpoint system like this is a nightmare. Overall, X2 Wolverine is a pretty bad game. It's still playable though and you can squeeze some fun out of it, but still, even so, it's more in the bad games category. I know that many of you grew up with the game, me included, but at least in my case, it's not how I remember the game. Replaying the game for the sake of the review made me realize that my memories were sweeter than the game. But don't let my words discourage you. If there still are so many people liking the game, it means that the game is playable and even good for some. I listed some of the problems the game has so that you won't have surprises when you play it. I mean, if you start the game expecting it to be bad, you will find the good parts of the game easier. I mean sure, the game is stiff and sluggish and frustrating in some moments. But you can still have fun in the game. X-Men Legends 1 and 2 are some very simple action RPG dungeon crawlers. I dare to say dungeon crawlers because especially in Legends 2 you get many caves. I will compare the gameplay to Marvel Ultimate Alliance, where instead of the huge cast of characters from all of the Marvel Universe, you get only X-Men characters. The gameplay is simplistic, but that simplistic feel is only a first impression, because the games have depth, 
all 15 playable characters in the first game and 18 playable characters in the second one feel different when you play as them. Each character feels unique and has unique moves and you can upgrade your characters so that the more you play, the more you feel like a badass superhero. Just try the two games. I know that they look and sound simplistic, but they are that type of game that once you get your hands on them, you have so much fun that you don't want to put the controller down. In X-Men the official game, you play as three characters. Wolverine, with which you have brawling sections, Iceman, with which you have shooting levels that look like this, and with Nightcrawler you have platforming and stealth levels. And even in combat is great with Nightcrawler, as he can teleport to enemies and hit them. And each section, no matter that it's a level with Wolverine, Iceman or Nightcrawler, they all feel amazing. They nailed the feel of each character and chose the proper gameplay for each, in my opinion. The boss battles are amazing too, the game is marvelous, I recommend you try it. Oh, and the game doesn't follow the plot of the movie, in spite of the cover art. The game has a unique story separate from the cinema adaptation. And the game is awesome. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.